Last week, I posted a video on how I finally upgraded to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And in that video, I did a color change with my shirts. And on Instagram, someone asked me if I could make a tutorial on how to do that. So, here you go, Good Life Gomez. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this in DaVinci Resolve, but you can use any editing software that allows you to select color channels. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is select a clip for that color change effect to happen. Then all you wanna do is make cuts in that clip for however many times you want the color to change. For this example, I'm going to make the color change one, two, three times, whoops. So the first clip will be our original color, then it's going to change into the first color, second, and third, and then maybe we could make it come back to normal. We're gonna go into the color tab, and because this is DaVinci Resolve, I have to add a new node. Basically, all this is saying is I'm going to make a qualification for only the shirt, while it keeps the information for everything else. If you're using Premiere Pro, I think the HSL tab allows you to qualify colors, um, don't know about any other editing software, but I do remember from my days of Premiere Pro that the HSL has something very similar to DaVinci's qualifier tool. So with my second node selected, I'm going to make sure I am on the qualifier tool and that picker is selected. Then I'm gonna take the eyedropper and click on my shirt. I'm gonna come up here to make sure that whatever is selected is visible. So as you can see, only the blue of my shirt is selected and everything else is masked out. But we could get the shadows of the shirt, so we'll just click the addition. Uh, okay, so we got a little bit of the cameras, but I'm not too worried about that. All right, so this is just gonna be a rough, rough example, but right now my second node has the color of my shirt selected. And we're just gonna push the colors into any direction. So let's go purple-ish. Uh, let's clean up this qualification just a bit more. You could see around my shoulders, it's not completely covered. So let's try, there you go. All right, that's a cleaner qualification. So our first color change is purple. So that's the first clip. So we go from the normal blue to purple. Now the second clip, we're gonna do the same thing. Second node, qualifier tool, make sure the picker is selected. Select the blue of the shirt. We're gonna make sure the qualification is covering most of the shirts. That looks good enough. And let's push the colors towards red. Uh, let's see, there you go. Ooh, I like this color on me. Look at that. We wanna make it look realistic so you don't wanna go crazy. Then third clip, same thing. Add a node, qualifier, uh, picker, qualify the blue as clean as you can. So this highlight tool over here, that's just turning on and off the mask overlay so I could see what my qualification is hitting. And then we'll push this towards green. And let's do one more. Second node, qualifier, picker, qualifier is this, picker is over here, qualify the blue, uh, that looks pretty good, uh, yeah, 
Sure, why not? I mean, you could mess around with the map finesse to clean that up. Then we will push this towards... Let's try yellow. It's more of a green, which is fine. So we have the original purple, a reddish color, a greenish, and then a light greenish. I wanted this yellow. How come... I guess I have to push it more towards the red. Let's try this. And then back to the original. Now, let's go back to our timeline. These are going to be harsh cuts, right? So... Right? But I could smooth that out by just dragging in a simple cross dissolve. Oh, you're not seeing where my transitions are pulling from because it's on my second monitor, but I mean, it's it's there. You could you could find cross dissolve. So now it's just going to gradually change color. And that's all it is. Super easy, right? Add this effect in your videos and your clients will go, wow. But like, it's so easy to do. All right, hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.